Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that did it. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Oh, I'm actually installing a mag mount for my antenna. <laughs> nah, that ain't a mag mount. This is a mag mount. Whoa. Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onagashimasu. Today, we're talking about magnets. This is the five inch tri-magnet NMO antenna mount from Tram. I think the magnets on this thing were once used in the automotive wrecking industry to pick up old cars and drop them in the vehicle crushing machinery. At five inches in diameter, each magnet is very strong and each individual magnet could hold a regular VHF or UHF dual band antenna. But there are three of these magnets, all attached to this very sturdy steel housing. That's enough magnetism to hold down a decent HF antenna. The magnets won't scratch your paintbook thanks to these really nice rubber boots. This one's in an NMO mount, but other versions of this tri-magnet mount are also available. This unit comes with 18 feet of RG58AU coax, which terminates with a PL259, so it's ready to connect directly to your radio. That's the Tram 5-inch tri-magnet NMO antenna mount. Next, I took the AL705 magnetic loop antenna from Alpha Antennas out for a spin. Okay, here we are outside in the uh, blazing heat of Southern California summer, and I have the IC705 here and the AL705 QRP magnetic loop antenna. So uh, let's tip this out and uh, see what it does. So inside the bag, we have uh, the tuning box with a big old dial on the front here, or knob I should say. And then uh, we have the outer loop, and we have the inner loop, and we have about 17 feet of coax. So um, one thing that is not included in the box or in the bag is this little uh, gadget here. And what this does is it allows you to attach everything to a tripod like so. And then what happens to this is it just slides on the bottom here like this. There you go, and now it's, uh, the antenna is actually solid on the tripod. So let's go ahead and install this and uh, see how it performs. Okay, so the first step in tuning this antenna is I recommend going to AM because you get a really nice loud uh, static in the background. Let me turn this up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune this dial until I receive maximum noise. There it is. So I go too far, come back. Now on lower power, I'm going to transmit and uh, adjust the style until I see the SWR dip. Oh, there it is. Barely had to touch it, and it's about uh, uh, 1.7 to 1. November 3, Japan, Florida, QRP. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Sean, could you pick the Florida station up? I heard a Florida station. Oh, was that you talking about a Florida station, Sean? No, not me. All I can swing around, I'm playing on west, I can swing around. Anybody in Florida? Anybody down in the Sunshine State down there, Pat, or the else? Uh, the E3XYY, let's see, over. Well, thank you, Jerry. Copy, no traffic. You're 5x7, and go ahead, contact. 
Uh, good morning, Lou. This is Charlie at San Clemente, KC6FZY, checking a little. I, uh, little. I agree, or maybe they're even wide sidebands. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's an unusual, uh, an unusual So there you go. Um, the AL705. Uh, it hears really well uh, on all the bands. Um, it's quite difficult to tune on the higher bands, uh, much easier to tune on 40 meters than anything else. Uh, and it hears really well. But unfortunately, band conditions aren't particularly good today, and so I wasn't able to make any contacts at all using just 10 watts and my uh, IC705. So um, I'm probably going to have to revisit this at some point and uh, see just how well it actually gets out when conditions are a little better. As I said in the video, band conditions were not that great, so I don't think this was a particularly good test for this antenna. When band conditions are not good, it's asking a lot of a small antenna and just 10 watts. While operating QRP, not completing a QSO is just a fact of life and part of the thrill of the chase. Sometimes a small magnetic loop antenna like this is not the right choice, and today I might have seen better performance in these poor conditions had I just used a wire antenna. My goal is to try the AL705 again when band conditions are better. Oh, that's a good station. So uh, microphone. Time, good microphone. Dale and Gary Where? And oh, jeez. And oh. Gail up there in uh, Lake oh, Arrowhead. God. Have a good day. Oh. Good week. Bye-bye. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, There's got to be a better solution. I've got to be able to put this somewhere where I can find it and where it's easy to put back. Hmm. Moving on to this little gadget here, the magnetic mic. This is a very neat magnetic microphone holder. It installs in seconds by simply removing the center screw on your microphone's existing clip and attaching the supplied round metal plate with a supplied screw. The package claims that it works with all microphones, but out of the box, it does not. Out of the box, it fits all microphones with a round mic clip on the back, like those from Yesu. If you have an ICOM radio that uses a flat clip with a hole in it, then the magnetic mic will not fit. I wanted to test the magnetic mic out in my car, so I did a temporary installation while I finalized where I wanted to put the magnetic mic. I used a piece of 3M very high bond tape on the back of the magnet and then attached it to the mounting system in my car. And I'm gonna stick that right on here. So, and again, this is just a very temporary solution. And when I've finally decided exactly where I'm gonna put it, which may very well be there, I will screw that in. So I'm gonna connect this uh, magnetic backing here onto there. It would uh, be screwed in here with the supplied screws, like so. And then when I'm ready to put the microphone back, there it is, it's right on there, it's perfect. Pull it off, put it back, there you go. So if you're driving, you need the mic, boom, pull it off, talk on the radio, put it back. There you go, I mean, it's a great solution. I love it. So mine's probably gonna stay there. I'm gonna get a little shorter screws so that uh, they don't go all the way through and into my uh, uh, extension kit here for the microphone but uh, yeah I think I think that'll work really well the microphone just dump it back on it's always there well there you have it magnets of one kind or another really come in handy whether it be a giant mag mount a small magnetic loop antenna or a tiny microphone holder so get your magnetic accessories at ham radio outlet today Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For Ham Radio Outlet, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your Ham Radio Sensei. Arigato gozaimashita.